Welcome to Sparks of History, where Jewish history and world history meet. We are very pleased to have with us today Rabbi Dr. Gil Pearl. Rabbi Pearl is a noted speaker, educator, and scholar. Dr. Pearl earned his master's and PhD degrees from Harvard University and received rabbinical ordination from Reitz Yeshiva University. Rabbi Pearl served as the head of school at Kohelet Yeshiva in suburban Philadelphia, and as Chief Academic Officer of the Kohelet Foundation. Currently, Rabbi Pearl is the CEO of the Addis Family Foundation and the founding head of the Jewish Leadership Academy in the Miami area. In his writings and lectures, Rabbi Pearl tackers, tackles a wide range of topics, including history of modern Jewry, contemporary Jewish education, and modern orthodoxy. And today, we will be discussing a fascinating subject and book, The Pillar of the Lushen, Rabbi Naftali Tzvi Yehuda Berlin, and the World of 19th Century Lithuanian Torah Scholarship. It is an um, insightful book, and urge all of our viewers and listeners, as I did, to go on to Amazon, click of a button, delivered straight to your home, free delivery. And... Um, Rabbi Dr. Pearl, again, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Great to be here. Uh, to get started, a little bit about your background and how you became interested in Rabbi Naftali Tzvi Berlin and Lithuanian Torah scholarship. Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, my background, I, I came through it as probably the uh, a rather standard modern Orthodox track growing up in um in Bergen County, Frisch spent two years in, in Israel following graduation post high school. And that, the truth of the matter is that's really where my interest was peaked. I was uh, a student at Yishvat Haritzion and uh, was looking for something to sink my teeth into around, um, you know, Parshala Shavua. And somebody suggested that I perhaps try uh, Ha'amik Davar, which was pretty new to me then, um, and that is the, the Netziv's Perush al Chomish, and I started learning it and was really pretty fascinated by, by what I saw um, and, you know, continued at it even post, you know, post yeshiva as, a, as an undergraduate student. Um, and, you know, I, I think what piqued my interest most was a, a distinct sense of something very modern, very creative in his work. And, um, you know, while I was no expert in Jewish history at the time, I, I certainly had an interest. And the little that I knew, this was a, a parish on Chumash that, that emerged from Eastern Europe in the, in the 19th century from a, a small shtetl called Belazhin, you know, written by people who were not Western educated, they weren't university educated. There wasn't anything modern about the world that this had come from, at least as far as I knew. And yet there seemed to be something distinctly modern, creative, different about the, the content of what he was writing. And that just that just continued to kind of pique my interest, my imagination to the point that I got to graduate school and kind of had the opportunity to really sink my teeth into it. And ask, you know, the big questions about what, what was going on there and, and what was this that I was seeing and, and what, what wasn't I seeing, you know, about, uh, about you know, the, the context from which this emerged. 